now that it's daylight i'm going to do an intro i am with my wife we're out here to go for crab maybe go fishing a little later today is the state of washington's free fishing weekend so it's saturday i believe it's june 11th and 12th but today's the saturday of the free fishing weekend i know after this video comes out it'll be over but there's quite a few states in the United States that have free fishing weekends. If you like traveling to some of them states and you like fishing, you might want to look them up. Save you a lot of money every time, everywhere you go, it costs money. So, good way to save. Anyway, we'll get back to you and see what we catch. Of course, I've already been crabbing, so daylight's already here. <laughs> I'll uh, see, let you see that in the videos. Okay, I got my foot on a crab here. See if I can get him up. Uh, it's a red rock crab and it's small and I'm not keeping red rock crab I got a crab on the run that's too small right here right at the water level on this piling there we go there's a red rock crab right there I'm just letting him go I have a crab in front of me I'm gonna try and get him okay He's a big one. Oh, he almost pinched me. <laughs> okay, one to measure. All right. I'll get back with you. I've got to reach for my measure. It fell down my chest waders. Okay, I'm back. I have my measure. We hook it onto the six. Oh, clearly. He's just over six, but just under six and three quarters. We can keep six inches here, so he's definitely a keeper. Got another crab. Gotta show it here. Get my measure on him. Okay, I'm gonna show you this one a little differently. <coughs> His pinchers, are, <coughs> excuse me, his pinchers are really small, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hook it onto the six inch mark, and then I'm gonna show you. It touches out here, right there. It touches. Now that's six inches, but where you're supposed to measure is up against that knob, and he does not touch, not by far. I'm going to put him back and I want you to put in the comments whether or not I could keep him because it is holding see but there's the knob you're supposed to measure from I'm putting him back so small pinchers still have been a good eating crab but that's fine my wife is out here with me and she just pointed out a crab and she feels it's too small so we're going to take a peek for it. You say it's right there somewhere? I don't see it. Cloudy. Okay, I'm going to just reach. Oh. Whoa, now that, that's a crab I, I don't know. What type of crab are you? One for the aquarium, maybe. I believe it's a spider crab. It's just a little different. It's shell. That's what you call a spider crab though. Kind of neat. Glad my wife found it. That's cool. Okay, I'm on the shoreline. And right here is a crab. I think it's too small, but I'll zoom out anyway. Hey, he's too small. I'll just put him back. I have another crab on the shoreline here. It's always good to walk the shoreline along the rocks to see what you can find. Pick him out of there. He's got size. He's got size. Let's measure him. Come on. Uh, he's not even five and three quarters, so not even good for Oregon. Another crab along the shoreline. Kind of amazed how many there are. He might be a keeper. 
I just have to give them where I can hold them. All right. Get them to let go of the female. There we go. Keeper, if you can see that. One crab. Two crab. Got another crab. Uh, it's probably too small, but I'll try anyway. Yeah, if he was in Oregon, he'd have been a keeper. I got a female crab high and dry out of the water, but I believe it's, it's dead. Sometimes you'll find them out of the water in this eelgrass. They couldn't make it out with the tide, so they'll kind of bury themselves, but you still see a lump out in the eelgrass. Okay, I'm walking to a crab. Hopefully it's alive because it looks keeper sized. I'm gonna knock at his door first, see if he's home. He moved a little. Uh, gosh, if he's alive, he's barely alive. Yeah, he's alive. Let's see if he's a keeper. He, he doesn't have much strength left in him, but he definitely moved. And he's a keeper. Holy smokes. Once again, let's check. Yeah, he moves. I push down on his abdomen right here. Find a keeper this far high and dry. Wow. That's why you look up here in these high and dry areas. Crab number three. Take it back to the bucket where my wife is. Two crab. Three crab. <laughs> yeah, here now I'm raking for cockles. I have one right here that I might keep. And I raked and I hit two things. So I doubled up on the cockles. Just raking cockles right here. While I'm here, I'll rake a little more right in the same spot. Got another one right here. These are medium size. They're not the biggest, but they go good in chowders and stuff. So we'll put her in the bucket with the crab. When going after these cockles, what you want to do is you want to rake like so. And when you hit something hard just under the surface, cockles aren't very deep. You'll hit them and you'll probably see water squirt. Anyway, not having much luck on cockles. Oh, there's one. There he is. That's how you get them. You just bump them and find them. I already had another one I didn't video. Well, we ended up with three crab. And I don't want a limit of cockles. I just want a few. Might fry them up in butter and garlic. I'll see what we can do uh, today for our free fishing weekend. I have a license, but it's free to me today. In order to go fishing on this free fishing weekend, I need some sand shrimp. Right in front of me are sand shrimp holes, and we'll see what I end up getting. All right, so I don't see any large sand shrimp, but I do see a couple medium ones. I got about five sand shrimp here, and these are the only two bigger ones. The rest are kind of small. There they are. Bigger hole, maybe a bigger sand shrimp. A little bit bigger couple of them a medium and two bigger ones good deal anyway I'm getting a small pile I've kept a few small ones also so I can have some bait I don't want to get but two to three dozen there's my sand shrimp we're now out here ready to fish I have the sand shrimp Sand shrimp is right there. Got some gear. And then the fish. I'm getting a fish on the pole right now. I'm just getting a bite. So we'll see what happens. Pick up the pole. That was a good bite. Good perch bite. Just do this and wait for it to come biting again. 
good. Oh, missed. So we got ourselves a baby cabazon my wife's caught. Bring it up here. All right. That'd be a great aquarium species. You can keep a couple a day. So what's your thoughts? You want to keep this for daughter's aquarium? I'm not well, talking at home either. Construction right now, so probably shouldn't. Okay. So we're going to throw this one back. And we're going to show you how to bait a hook. Alrighty. Put it on. Like so. Take a little bit here. My wife's not skunked on free fishing day. Yay! <laughs> that free license is coming out good all right had one on right when I cast it yep beautiful get myself a nice perch all right a little butter a little this a little that you're good to go huh oh yeah all right that there is a pile perch now there's silver with a black bar Typical pile perch. Just give him a little finger bite. Caught myself a little fishy. What did I catch? Caught myself a baby cabazon. Look at that. You can keep two of these a day, I believe. If I'm wrong, that's okay. I'm not keeping him. But I don't want to keep him. He's too small. So there he is. He's going to go back in the water. I got a big fish on here. Okay, it's probably a shiner. It's probably what's been biting and taking all my uh, bait all this time. <laughs> so I get to show you a shiner, and it is. All right, let's get this guy closer. Lay him down right there. Now, no one's here to talk while I'm doing this. Seems like every time I'm bringing a fish in, someone's here to start talking. A shiner is really shiny and has some yellow striping on it right here and here. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try and hold it. Nope. <laughs> nope. Into the water it went. It's a big difference from uh, yesterday to today for the free fishing weekend. It's windy. Still cloudy. Not as sunny. But my wife, she decided to stay home, so... I'm going to give it a go. If I don't catch anything, I'll just finish the uh, video there. But I hope I get a bite. Something I can show catching, at least, for this free fishing weekend. I do have a license, but today it's free. I didn't have to pay anything for my license, I guess. Oh, yeah. Nice perch. Okay. That there... Is a nice pile perch. Just like yesterday's pile perch, about the same size. Beautiful. That's a good bite. We'll let it bite a little more. Probably a kelp cod or a bullhead. They bite like that several times over. Got him. <laughs> Just a little kelp cod again. All right, a little bigger than the last kelp cod. This is a female, has yellow. 
If I catch another kelp cod, I'll show you. This one has yellowy look about it. The male kelp cods have more of a blue turquoise look. Got him. That's a nice perch. Oh yeah, beautiful perch. That's a biggie. Up you come. <laughs> That's the biggest one yet. All right. Flopping around. Oh, nice big perch. Nice big perch. Oh, yeah. They're all gigantic size out here today. <laughs> Not bad. This is number three. I haven't read the books lately, but it was you could keep 12. I do not plan on keeping 12 of these. Number four. No, that little bite it was doing, this couldn't have been it. But that's the size I'm getting, number four. I think I can keep 12 of these. I'm not going to, though. I'll be done early enough. Yeah, sand shrimp. I tie the sand shrimp down with stretchy string. They'll, they'll rob the bait otherwise. In between those perch, got myself a male kelp cod. There we go. Had a big take. Let's see what happens if it takes it again. Just waiting for him to take it away. It's a nice bite. Just does he want it bad enough. That's him again. Okay, got him. And he ends up being a little kelp cod. Yay. <laughs> it's kind of bluish and turquoise. Uh, that makes him a male. Here, play him. Hey, <laughs> Letting this uh, person play it. <laughs> oh, it's a nice big old perch. Dang, bro. <laughs> Look at that perch, bro. You got to lift up the pole and drop. Well, either way. No, it's okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna lift up, reel up. Just like that. That's a mess of fish. Not bad for this free fishing weekend. My wife didn't make it out here with me today, but I felt like I needed to do both days to make it a free fishing weekend. So I guess I didn't need my license today after all. Anyway, if you like this video, please press like. If you want to see more of my types of videos, hit the notification bell. And if you haven't already, I hoped I earned your subscription today, please subscribe. It'll go a long ways to help me make more videos. Thank you for watching.